So here's 1870 Swearinger. This home looks recently painted. I'll give you a further back view at a later time. All right, let's head inside. So you walk in and it's a bi-level setup. You either go down or up. We're gonna go down first. So as we head downstairs, you got storage right in there. To your left, oh, you got a new furnace too, nice. To the left is a one car garage, which you want to have at least a one car. A lot of homes in this price range, I mean under 250 even, are gonna have just one car garages. This one's a pretty good one. You got a 220 outlet right there, which is nice. Just gotta make sure it's installed correctly. That's what the inspection's for. <laughs> I say that a lot in these videos, don't I? So here is a utility room. Furnace looks new, um, 2017, so year old. And you got the sticker there as well. Water heater is eight years old, so you got a handful of years left on that. Laundry room, best laundry room we've seen yet. So you continue through the basement, you got a half bath. Not a full bath, but half bath is better than only one bath in the house. Wood burning fireplace, new windows, or at least newer windows. Fenced front yard, as you can see. This would be a good rec room, good TV room. Put a wall up right there, make it a bedroom, but you'd lose a good family room space. All right, so that's the downstairs. Let's head on upstairs. Back to the front door. All right. Upstairs, you got a family room. Dinner table would go right there. Got newer appliances. Not going to say brand new, but newer. Gorgeous view of the mountains. You guys build a little deck off of here and put a door here. I've seen this floor plan have a door right there. Then a little deck that kind of wraps around the house. Kitchen looks nice. Little coat closet. Decent sized bedroom here. Once again, nice view of the mountains. Can't really tell because of the lighting here. But now you can tell. It's pretty nice. Got your full bath, deep soaking tub. Nice little storage here. They got the master, which once again, you got no, I guess you do have neighbors behind you, but you got some, some separation. Gorgeous mountain views. A little shed in the backyard. The one thing you'll notice about this home is the backyard access. A window in the closet, a walk-in closet, which is nice. Is there's no backyard access from the house. So that's why I've seen some that have a door right there going to the backyard. And the table goes there, there's not a lot of room for a couch. I mean, TV I'd put right there. So TV would go right there. And then a table would go there, I'd put a couch there. A couch there. So you got a setup for a TV family room area. And I'm gonna go back down here and see about backyard access from the house in general. Because there's nothing. So there is some stuff here. So once again, that's the inspections for the inspector can look and see if there's any foundation issues. Cause you got a crack right there, a crack there. So it looks like they actually had a wall here. You can see that 
it might have been a wall here and they opened it up to make it a little bit bigger. But I do not see any backyard access from the house. From the garage. No backyard access either. So you have to go outside to get backyard access. Just something to keep in mind with this home. That may or may not be a big deal to you, but some people it might be. All right, I'll pause. So it looks like the only backyard access is through that fence. I'm not gonna go all the way to the back because you get a really good idea of, well, what the heck. I'll just go all the way to the back. So this is how you get to the backyard. Which once again, gorgeous mountain views. Slanted yard, a good shed. Fully fenced. And there's something blocking the shed door, so I'm not gonna worry about opening it. But it's just gonna be your standard shed. All right, so that's the home. So there's the house. And that's the neighborhood.